People always want to know what you did at summer camp. Where did you go? Who did you meet? What did you see? Trouble is, if I told them the truth, no one would ever believe me. I still don't see why I have to go to Camp Evil Feather. That's Eagle Feather, Sport. People in weird uniforms yell at you, control when you wake up, when you go to bed, and every last thing you do all day. It's either evil or it's the army. This isn't like you, Jacob. It's not like you to complain. You'd think summer camp was some kind of punishment the way you're acting. We just want to make sure you get to mix with kids your own age once in a while. But what if I don't like kids my own age? I bet you they don't know half of what I do. Bet you they can't climb trees like I can, or track a deer, or... Or make a fire with just two Boy Scouts to rub together. I understand, darling. You want to stick with your mom and dad while they roam the forest and hunt weird bugs. It really is pretty cool, Mom. I mean, you guys are always discovering all these amazing creatures and getting your pictures in those science magazines. You've got awards. And you'll let me run around in the woods whenever I want to. Well, now you'll get to run around in the woods with other kids too, Sport. Don't worry. I was just the same way my first time at camp. I ended up loving it. Really? It's got everything a boy could want. A lake, mountains, activities. And heaps of old Native American legends. But they've got some great campfire stories too. They'll spook you right up. Me? I won't be afraid. Of course you won't, darling. Come on, JJ. Let's see if you can help your old dad work out where we are. Oh no, Jonathan. I'm not trusting you with map reading. Last time we took a wrong turn and ended up halfway to Albuquerque. No need to worry, my love. This time I remembered the good old GPS. Jacob, be a pal and have a look around the back of the car for me. I know it's back there somewhere. Found it. Shall I try and turn it on, Dad?
Hmm. Got it. Yay. Nice work, boys. Looks like we're on the right track. We just need to take that left up ahead, through the tunnel. Ah, the open road. The trees, the mountains. Kinda reminds me of the beginning of The Shining. Here's Johnny! Is this another of those in-jokes I'll get when I'm older? Because if it is, I really hope it's worth the wait. Is that a real volcano? Oh yes, but don't you worry. It's been dormant hundreds of years. That smoke's just steam. <laughs> wow. I thought you said that thing was dormant. <laughs> Pretty much, anyway. Still, it's nothing to worry about. You often get these minor tremors. Huh? Hmm. What? Look! What was it, darling? Nothing, I guess. Just... Watch out! <laughs> Not very helpful. No harm done, though. Wait. Is that a lesser fringe gnat nobbler on that branch? You know, wife of mine, I think you might just be right. It must be the first sighting at this latitude since 58. Oh, I have to record it. Where are my notebooks? And I'd better draw it. Where's my sketch pad? Uh, guys, weren't we supposed to be getting me to camp? And I thought you didn't want to go. Tell you what, sport. Why don't you work out how to get us past this hunk of timber while we do our stuff? Uh, I guess. We won't be long. Now, where's that specimen jar? Maybe summer camp is a good idea after all. Let's see if I can figure this out.
Dad, I can't figure this out. No worries, JJ. Do you want to leave it for now? This should get us out of here. Yeah! Yay! Well done, us! I've got my Nat Nobbler sighting. Your dad's got his drawing, and you've got us back on track. Let's get this road on the show. Camp Eagle Feather, here we come. What's that? Welcome back, sleepyhead. Just in time, Ace. We're here. So this is Camp Eagle Feather. A little later than expected, Sport, but we got here in the end. It looks pretty quiet. Can you see anyone around, sweetheart? I don't know, Ma. Let me have a look around. Hmm. Ah, you must be the Joneses. A little late if you don't mind me saying. So sorry, Ms. Mrs. actually. Agatha Haggerty, founder and chief counselor of Camp Eagle Feather. Finest camp this side of the ocean, if I do say so myself. That's good to hear. Should hope so, too. And you must be young Jacob. Probably wondering why your mom and dad have decided to drop you in the wilderness, aren't you? Actually, ma'am, I like the wilderness. In that case, you'll do just fine. Now, I'm afraid you've missed your dinner. Something we do not approve of here. But don't you worry. I'm sure we can fix you something up. Don't want you fading away, do we? Oh, no chance of that. Jacob loves to be running around. Real bundles of energy at that age, aren't they? Well, why don't you two come with me and I'll explain how things work around here. Jacob, you'd best grab your bags and then you can come join us.
My luggage should be in the trunk somewhere. Shall I try and find it? This ought to work. Perfect. There's my stuff. Now back to camp. You know what? I do feel hungry. I should catch up with Mom and Dad. And that's about all there is to cover. Ah, here's our new blood. Well, darling, I guess this is where we say goodbye. Are you guys really sure about this? Don't worry, son. You'll have a wonderful time. I'll bet there are kids who die to be in your shoes. There certainly are. We'd better get going. It's a long road home. Have fun, sweetheart. Make sure to wrap up warm. And watch out for any kids called Jason wearing hockey masks. Huh? Just another joke, Jacob. Never you mind. You have fun now. I'm sure he will. Looks like you're stuck with us now, Jacob. Come along. Let's get you into camp. That's quite a bundle of stuff you've got there, young man. Just you go give it to Mr. Idle over there. He's our groundskeeper. Then you can come meet the counselors up at the main cabin. Don't worry, I'll wait for you.
No, no, that has not fixed it. Not at all. I will need a bigger hammer. Or some glue. How about a gopher with a monkey wrench? Well, maybe. Uh, Mr. Idol? Maybe a gopher with a... Oh, hello there. Hello, Mr. Idol. My name's Jacob Jones. Oh, just hands will do, my young man. Or oh, idle hands. That is what they are calling me around here. It is a kind of joke, yes? Oh, that will be your luggage you are carrying. That's it. Mrs. Haggerty... I know. She wants me to take it to your cabin. Well, certainly, whatever she is saying. Only, can you do me a small favor, perhaps? Sure, Mr. Idle. I mean, Mr. Hans. Then if you would put this parcel in the mail for me, that would be most kind. The mailbox is rather out of my route. Adopt a tiger. Eldritch Zoological Society, Eldritch, Massachusetts. You're adopting a tiger? Just so. I am having terrible gopher problem here in Camp Eagle Feather. Terrible gophers everywhere. But once I have my beautiful tiger to feast on them, I am thinking there will not be so many gophers anymore. This will teach those naughty gophers a lesson? Uh, sure, but... When you adopt a tiger, don't they just send you a certificate or something? I'm pretty sure they don't send you the whole tiger. But this cannot be, my young man. It is saying on the leaflet from the zoo that I can adopt a tiger. When you adopt something, then it is coming to live with you, yes? I am sure. Well... Do not be worrying about it. Just you go and post my letter, and I shall be taking your luggage to the cabin. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Hands. And do not be forgetting to keep an eye out for those rotten rodents. There's the mailbox. I guess I should mail Mr. Idle's letter. All done. You are. I think we may need to work on your sense of punctuality, young man. Still, no harm done. Come along inside. Mm, Counselors, this is our newest Eagle Feather Brave, young Jacob Jones. Oh, they stink. So interesting. Uh, hello. Uh. Well, young man, don't you think you should introduce yourself to everybody? Hmm. This is Mr. Flommerly, our nature counselor. Ah, nature. A bower quiet for us. Full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. Therefore, on every morrow... Melvin. Do you know the joys of nature, young Jacob? What it is to commune with earth and rock and root and river? How to find the myriad joys contained in this simple maple leaf? Uh, isn't that an oak leaf, sir? Really? Bah! Identifying birds and leaves is mere child's play. Far beneath the level of a companion of nature's beauty, such as I. Perhaps we might see if your skills could rise to a rather greater challenge. 
What say you to that? Completely and utterly wrong. Dang. Ha! Once more, Melvin Flummery is vindicated. So, my boy, would you care to pit your infant wits against Melvin Flummery? Completely and utterly correct. Yes. Oh, infamy. Your insolence has not gone unnoted, child. I shall be keeping a weather eye upon you. Aw, oh, come on, Melly. He was only trying to help. Good job, JJ. Mm, quid pro quo. What? This is Mr. Grimmel, Chief Physical Education Counselor, and my deputy. So. This is the kid who kept us all waiting, huh? Okay, kid. That's one strike against you. For now, we're fine. Make it two strikes, and it's all over for you. I've got the cooler waiting for no good punks who like to break the rules. 
Ooh. You so need to lighten up, Mr. Grimmel. Give Jacob here a break. And they wonder why kids these days are such punk-ass no goodnicks. It's eat or be eaten in this life, Missy. And this kid needs to know it. I think he's got the message, Claude. This is Ms. Truly. Hi, Miss Truly. Oh, so cute. Couldn't you just swallow him up? Call me Shania. Ms. Truly is our junior physical education counselor. Loving that barrel look you're working, little dude. Believe you me, you're gonna have the wildest time here. This is our science counselor, Mr. Thagoras. If I recalibrate the anomalizer, allow for a pseudopodial differential up to sigma 0.7, then take away the number you first thought of. Peter, we have a new brave in the camp. What? Who? Don't take any mind of me, son. Just doing some calculations. Welcome to the camp. I look forward to putting you to good use. Thanks, sir. Well, it's getting rather late, and I'm sure you've had a long day of it, Jacob. Claude, would you see our young friend off to bed? And perhaps give young Jacob a quick tour of the camp facilities along the way. Tour guide, huh? Well, I guess that's all I'm good for these days. Okay, kid, come with me. And don't step out of line. Because if you do... Wow, Claude. Way to welcome the kid or what? Come on, wise guy. Well, wise guy, I guess I'd better show you around the camp. See that? Garbage! The work of diseased juvenile minds. Are you gonna pick it up? Like an upstanding citizen? Or maybe you like to see this beautiful planet of ours sullied by endless mountains of junk. No, sir. Let's see you get to work then. There you go, sir. What do you want? A medal? You did your job. In my day, that would have been enough. The inner glow from work done right. These days, you get a credit for your cell phone for every bit of junk you grab. Whole planet's gone to mush, I tell you. So I get credit for my phone for every piece of litter I pick up? <laughs> That's neat. Neat? If only it was kid. If only it was. Credits just for doing what's right. Whole world's gone to heck in a handcart. Anyhow, enough of all this blather. Follow me, and I'll show you the rest of the camp. Nature Hut, you like plants, don't you? Sure do. In my day, kids your age like softball and soapbox racers. What's a soapbox racer? A thing that goes downhill fast, hot shot, just like the world these days. That's the science cabin. Want to know a scientific fact? Uh, 
okay? Go in there without permission, and I'll make sure your life isn't worth the price of a popsicle to a penguin. Over there's a music hut. Bet you'll be wanting to make pretend like you're Elvis Presley, huh? Elvis who? Elvis who? You're within an ace of getting stuck in the cooler, kid. Huh? That's the craft hut. To my eye, it should have been a detention hall. But Haggerty wouldn't have it. Too lenient, that's her problem. Looking at the mountain, huh? Well, that's okay. No rule against it. Not yet, anyhow. Anyhow, I haven't got all day. So let's get this over with. Something nice. Wait a minute. No, it isn't. What? Oh, that kid on you. Good evening, Mr. Kreml. Evening, Mr. Idle. Still working? Of course, Mr. Kreml. Work is what we are placed upon this earth to do. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what is wrong with the wiring. I am thinking it is the fault of those gophers again. Maybe I could help. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, kid? Punch the camp into darkness? Let you run riot? Shake up all the soda cans? Put to- What's next? Burning the camp flag? I don't want to do any of that, sir. Honest. It's just I'm pretty good with this sort of thing. Do not worry, Mr. Kreml. This Jacob, he is a good boy. Already he has promised to help me with the gophers. How about if I am doing the work and Jacob is pointing me in the correct direction?
Let us try this. That is a fine job. Those gophers will not know what is hitting them. Good work, my Jacob. Thanks to you, I am finished for the evening. Cool. Cool, huh? Just like ice cream. You're a regular Boy Scout now, aren't you, Hotshot? Let's get you to your cabin. Come on. Oh, please. Those are the counselor's cabins. Add them to your list, kid. W what list? The list of places you do not go! Okay. Oh, 
how they stink. Those are the girls' cabins, but you're not interested in that. Uh, I'm not? Oh, no. Because if you even think about being interested in those huts, I'll have you stuck in a cooler faster than a snow cone on a midsummer's day. And you don't want that, do you? Uh, no. You got it. Okay, Hotshot, here you are. Step one foot outside this cabin after lights out, and I'll come down on you like the late Mrs. Gribble on a pizza pie. Now, get yourself inside, get to bed, and get to sleep. Thank you, sir. And thank you for the tour of the camp. You better not be being sarcastic, kid. I really wasn't. Keep it that way. I can't believe I'm stuck in this lousy cabin with these. Hi, I'm Jacob. Jacob Jones. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. I'm Deathkill. Deathkill Carpathia. Really? On your bag, it says Marion Flupkin. Marion is a girl's name. Shows what you know, doofus. Anyway, Jacob, I'm kind of the main guy around here at camp. Whatever you need to know, I know it. Whatever you need to go, I, uh, go it. Basically, whatever you're thinking of, you go through me first. Uh-huh. Glad we got that straight. So, what music you into? You like Black Torquemada? Existential Angst Invasion? Sacrifice of the Dark Dark Peach? Bands like that, right? Uh, no. Sure you do gonna form my own death metal band when I get out of this rat hole camp. Do the right thing, and maybe I'll let you be my roadie. Gee, thanks. Yeah, it's an honor, right? Meanwhile, you better get used to Camp Dweeble Feather. It's pretty lame. Only cool thing going on around here is there's like never-ending mountains of food. You see that button over there? Sure. Hit that button and they deliver a pizza straight to your hut. Try it any time, day or night, even like, uh, after midnight. Really? Shall I try? Sure thing, kid. Stick with me and maybe I'll see you're okay. Sure. Hey, Jacob. I'm Dwayne. Dwayne Rivers. Hi, Dwayne. Well, JJ, welcome to your cabin. That's your bunk over there. Used to belong to Mikey Redshirt, but he had to leave kind of sudden. Mrs. Haggerty said it was some kind of emergency. He disappeared awful sudden, just like the Leapin' Luchador. Yeah, just like Leapin' Luchador. Don't worry about Billy, he's a major doofus. You might want to get unpacked. Grimmel's no fun if you're not set for bed by lights out.
You want a do-over, maybe?
You leaving it unpacked, JJ? Looks like you're good to go, JJ. No way Grimmel can complain about that. Hmm. Where is he? Have you seen him? He's disappeared again. Uh, sorry? Seen what now? That's Billy. Don't worry, he got- It's my leaving Luchador. He's gone missing again. Who's done what now? He's my favorite toy in the whole world. Or maybe my second favorite is. Or third. It's not the thing stuck to your back, is it? You found him. Gee, thanks, mister. Mister? Right. Hmm. Thank you. 